My Overflow Colour Base. The meaning of Kala for me is not only a spiritual connection but draws magical powers into one's life as you touch and smell, engage, share, bond and eat in no other way like when you bake in this holy bread. How many do you think you've baked? I don't know, I've got a few, but now I'm doing it, you know, like the wholemeal and sour. You're doing sourdough, but are you doing gluten free? Can you do gluten free colours? Um, not yet, not yet. Oh, well, there's a challenge for you. Thank you so much. Bakes. Nine incredibly successful bakes took place around the country, raising thousands of dollars for the IDF which was above and beyond anyone's wildest expectations. Needless to say, this money changed the lives of many, and to this day, our community is not forgotten for making the difference. My deep and personal connection to the IDF is through my son, who is currently serving in an elite unit. Sometimes I used to have, and still have, moments of deep concern. Concern beyond words at the very thought of the danger that surrounds him. <coughs> a whole year later, we continue to fight a dangerous war. This time of pure, unpredictable evil within our borders, leaving us sad, frightened, and fraught for our countrymen and protectors, once again, who try to remain filled with hope and courage to an everlasting peace. taste some of the uh, end results. Well, please God, if you get invited to somebody's Shabbat tomorrow, I'll, sure. I'll, and if not, I'll invite myself. Exactly. That's also good. Uh, yeah, we love baking colour together. Have you we baked colour together all, yes. all the time? Yes. Every week? No, not every week. Not every week. Almost. This week's a very special week then, because you're baking with all these other people. It's amazing, isn't it? So, the Holy Aruza explained that the world the way we know it, the way the world is manifested into a physical being, a physical world the way we know, is a feminine entity. And yet, funnily enough, there are people like me and other men in the world, and there are many men in the world, and somehow we've managed to fit into this feminine entity of a world. If you look around the world and you look at what's happening in the world, there's a lot of negativity in the world, a lot of positivity and a lot of negativity. And if you think about it, and I'm sure you're all going to agree with me, the negativity in the world is mostly created by men. I see a lot of neds, nods around the room, like, hmm, this rabbi knows what he's talking about. The negativity, a lot of it is created by men. However, women, the Arizals explains, have the ability to nurture those men and affect those men and affect the whole world to take that negativity and actually flip it on its head and actually bring positivity into the world and connect back to the world. Gelbart! Gelbart! No, no relation to Lisa and Phil Gelbart. And Lisa and no Phil. No Phil. Oh, okay. Well, just for the Lisa and Gelbarts that will be watching, this is the Gelbarts you're not related to. <laughs> Except they all want to make this, this thing called colour. So you're gonna you're gonna have this for Shabbos, aren't you? Yes. Okay. So have a good Shabbos to the Gelbert family. Thank you very much. This is fun. I know. Once you get the hang of it. Palestine Road, we wish them a good Shabbos. It's actually Palestine Road, but we want Palestine Road. Oh, 
Oh, right. Well, it makes sense. It makes sense. And where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Brazil. We're very... We're uh, Melbourne. Melbourne. Right, Melbourne. So they'll be baking in Brazil as yes, well? Yes, I so. Okay. Last year they did in Sao Paulo, so... Sao Paulo? this year too. I'll ask my sister afterwards. Okay. So, hello Sao Paulo. Say, there, there, there are some very impressive loaves. <laughs> not, not at our table, but there are the, some. They, you see the, breads. Now, those are breads, and that's the man. That's the man. man. That's the man. That's the man. Yeah. 